It is cooking with Carly. I am Carly. And you know what? For some reason, today I feel like cooking. I don't know what the deal is. Usually, Carly doesn't feel like cooking. And sometimes he'll cook out of necessity. But today I feel like cooking. I wonder if it has something to do with the with the uh, the NASA rocket thing. They, they sent the rocket up into space millions and millions of miles and they hit this asteroid and, and then maybe it moved the asteroid just enough so that when Carly got up this morning, he felt like cooking. So I've been out and I've been getting some food that we're gonna cook today. And it's not gonna be quick, but it will be easy. So we're gonna try to do some special Carly collard greens today. And we're going to be cooking some chicken and we're going to uh, we're going to flame broil the chicken now here we are late September I don't know how many of you use your barbecue pits but we're gonna use our barbecue pit today so I'm really excited about these these Carly collards and chicken this meal we're gonna prepare it's not gonna be quick but it's gonna be relatively easy so I'm gonna get home and we're gonna Get this thing started. Ooh, can't wait, can't wait. All right, so here are the ingredients for today's meal. First off, chicken, bacon, collard greens. Notice they're already chopped. Carrots, already shredded. Celery and onions, oh look at that, already chopped up. brown sugar, along with some other spices and herbs that we'll get to later. Some apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. Extra virgin olive oil. So you know we clean as we go. So the dishwater is ready. Most of our ingredients are ready. Wearing my Skechers, got my fan, but it feels like there's something missing. Now, what could it be? I know, my cooking cap. Now we're ready to get started. Let's ask a blessing. Dear Lord, we thank you for the food that we're about to prepare and receive, and we pray that you would bless it for the nourishment of our minds and bodies, and not only make it taste good to us, but make it be good for us. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen? Amen. All right, let's get cooking. All right, so we're going to get things started here. I'm going to rinse off this pan. So we're going to... Rinse this pan out. All right, let's start first with cleaning the chicken. What we have here is we have uh, 4.87 pounds of chicken at $2.29. So compare this. This is in September 27th, 2022. Total $11.15 from the store. We'll see how far our dollars take us 10 years from now. Lord help us. So we're going to take the chicken. We'll put it in our pan. And we're gonna clean it off with some cold water. Just rinse off the chicken.
now that the chicken is rinsed off, we're going to kind of marinate it a little bit. Nothing super special. All I'm going to do is put some water in it and some salt. And we're going to let that marinate while we go outside and get the grill ready. So as we wait for the coals to get hot, the chicken is still marinating, we're going to open up our bacon and we're just going to take out a few slices. We're not cutting up a whole bunch of stuff today, but we are going to cut up some bacon. I'm just going to take these three right here plus this one. So we're going to get four slices of thick cut bacon and we're just going to slice them Let's prepare our Carly collards. We've got our pot that's been handed down for generations. What we're going to do is before we put the collards in, we're going to put in our special, uh, our special trifecta infused flavoring. So we'll tell you what the trifecta is in a second. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cover the bottom of the pot with the extra version olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. So we cover the bottom of the pot with that. All right. And next we're gonna add some seasoning. We'll start with our black pepper, black peppercorns. So I'm gonna add a, enough to give us the feel of a little burn. So we got some peppercorns in there. Then we've got our regular black pepper, our coarse ground black pepper. Season it to taste, right? Right. 
We're going to add some garlic powder. I'm going to put in, if I can find it, some, some paprika. Here's our paprika, I think. Some ground paprika. There we go. Give it some color. Nice. All right. Let us also put in some, some all purpose seasoning. It's got all kinds of things in there. That's good enough. And we're going to add some salt. Okay. I'm going to put a little thyme in it. Some thyme leaves. All right. And we're going to use some Old Bay. Old Bay seasoning. I know it's not seafood, but it's got some good stuff in it. These are collie, these are Carly collards. Also believe we're gonna put some turmeric in it too. Some turmeric. And then finally, we're gonna put some ground coriander. All right. Now comes the trifecta, two of the trifecta special ingredients are in this, in this container, celery and onions. So we're going to open this up. Put in our celery and our onions. Right. Mix those in. Get everything covered with all those seasonings and the, the extra virgin virgin olive oil. And we're going to add our carrots. That's the third ingredient. That's the third part of the trifecta. You add onions, carrots, and celery. I believe they call that a mirepoix. You can add some garlic to that if you wanted to, too, I suppose. But the trinity, celery, onions, carrots, make things taste real good. And let's mix that in. Also going to add some butter. Add as much as you want. Today I'm adding this much. I don't know if this is this a. a I don't know how much this is, but that's how much I'm adding. 
This is just for taste because we're certainly going to get enough oil in here with the virgin olive oil. And of course, we got the bacon coming up too, right? Yes. All right. So next, we're going to add some of this brown sugar. Brown sugar. I'm using dark brown sugar. If you prefer, you could use light brown sugar. Use as much sugar as you want. But not a lot, because this is not meant to be a dessert. This is, yeah, I think that might be enough. The reason I'm adding the brown sugar and the butter is to balance the vinegar that we're gonna put in here. It's that sweet and sour taste we're going for. I'm gonna mix the vinegar up to get some of that mother in it. And I'm gonna add vinegar. How much vinegar? I don't know. That much? I don't know how much that was. We don't measure anything here, do we? Usually not, sometimes I do. All right, let's get more of these celery and onions. Let's mix this up. And we're gonna turn on the heat we're going to go on high. We want to reduce this down some with our bacon. Let's get some bacon in here. Here comes the bacon. Oh, yeah. Bring home the bacon. And then our dishwater. All right. Now, get my oven mitt because this pot conducts heat. This pot is a steel pot. So we're going to start mixing this up and we're going to reduce it. We're doing this while the coals are getting hot outside. Let's go check on them. These coals are ready. So now we're gonna get the chicken and put it on this so that it can cook while the collars are cooking. Before we put the chicken on, let's add some seasoning to it. We're gonna use some chicken seasoning. We already got the salt in there so we don't need to put any more salt. Well, this has salt in it too, doesn't it? So watch your salt. I'm gonna add some garlic powder. Some garlic powder. Yes, thank you, Lord. Some black pepper. And I'm going to add some chicken rub. This is a garlic, a roasted garlic and herb rub. Open the other end. Let it flow. Let it flow. All right. Now we're about to go outside. This has started to boil. So I'm going to turn my heat down. I had it set to 8. I'm going to turn it down to about 4. I'm going to give it a good stir too before I go out there and put that chicken on. Let that cook down. Spread the coals. There we 
red hot. This thing is ready. We're back in the kitchen. The chicken is cooking on the grill. And you can see our mirepoix is cooking nicely. I still have it set to four. And I think I'm going to turn it back up to eight. And I'm going to look to see if I have some of the secret weapon. That's right. I didn't tell you all the ingredients. There's a secret weapon that we're going to add to this. Is it required? No. But if you got it, it can be awfully handy. Oh yes. What is the secret weapon? The secret weapon, my dear friends, chicken broth. This one is free range chicken broth. Chicken broth. We're gonna add some chicken broth to this in addition to some water. But the chicken broth is gonna add to that cornucopia of character and taste. How much do you add? I don't know. I added that much. Maybe about half a cup. That might work. Depends on how much you're cooking. Mix this up. And we're going to bring it back to a boil. Bring it back to a boil. Now, as we're bringing it back to a boil, before we put the collards in, let's see what kind of taste we've got with this. So, I'm going to just stick in my fork here. Just want to get the fork wet. Let it cool off a little bit. And let's taste it. Mmm. Not bad. You can use a little more sugar. More sugar in there. All right. Didn't want the packaging to soak up all that moisture and make your sugar clump up. And we're going to put in some more of this. There we go. Some more of the vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. And let's mix that in. Bring this back to a boil. So everything is cooking, so we're going to clean some things up because we clean as we go.
let's taste this mirepoix again. Let it cool off. That's the stuff. All right. I'm gonna rinse off the green. I know it says it's pre-washed. So that means rinse them again. Rinsing them again won't hurt them, right? Let's get these collards in there. Cold water. Turn the heat down to about five. And mix them in there. I would guess that a given leaf of collard green is probably 75% water. So a lot of this is going to cook out. So we're going to put that whole bag, that particular bag of collard greens that we have was this was 16 ounces. It was a one pound bag. So we're going to put all 16 ounces in this large pot, which I'd imagine will hold about maybe six to eight quarts. Let's mix it in. Might not need to add any water to this. Nope, I don't think we're going to add any water. We're not going to add any water to this. I'm going to get every leaf nice and wet. Mix in the ingredients. From the bottom to the top. And let this also cook down. Again, the heat's at about five, so that's medium. And we're gonna cut it up. And you cook it as long as you need to. You cook it to until you get the consistency and texture, rather, that you want for all those leaves. All right, it's been cooking for quite some time. I've lost track of time, but keep in mind, you're letting it cook down to the consistency and texture that you prefer 
and be mindful that you might have to re-season it, but you season it to your taste. And speaking of taste, I've added some more salt and some more sugar. Let's see what this tastes like now. But we got some good color, some nice texture. Let's let this cool off. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, this is good. So we can just let this simmer. Still on, it's still on five. I'm gonna turn it down to low. Cover it back up. So here we have our chicken that was cooked on the grill, the barbecue grill outside. I called it flame broiling, grilling. Then of course we've got our carly greens. You can see the carrots add some nice color. The longer you let this cook, the more that the flavors become concentrated in these collard greens. So again, cook them to taste. We're going to try this chicken. So here's a little sliver of the chicken you can see how moist it is and we have no pink so it's cooked through and through that's why I was saying we couldn't make this quick because you know you want to make sure that it's safe to eat you gotta kill all the microorganisms and the you know the bacteria especially that one called salmonella that's prevalent in chicken let's taste all right mmm Delicious. Delicious. Thank you, Lord. Wow, we did it. It's amazing what can happen when an asteroid moves. I hope they don't have to do that too much. But I hope that you've enjoyed this video, that you took something from it. I hope you had as much fun watching it as I had recording it. And I hope that you enjoy your rendition of whatever you cook. So as always, from me to you, I pray that you're blessed too. Thanks for watching Cooking with Carly. Until next time, take care. God bless.